was I from front bench area okay. i used to be called very bada of <laughs> course <was> always <laughs> middle was certainly part of all our lives wasn't it mm. story of our lives night out also both actually i would wake up early but i would take a probably a nap in the afternoon and a night out for sure now i'm an early bird now i'm an early bird i wake up early morning and uh, go for my run and things like that they got me they moved me out of home into a hostel because they couldn't deal with my <laughs> night out they said bahut ho gaya just get out of the house so the fourth, third year second semester i moved into hostel being a person from delhi i still moved into the hostel those were days when there were rooms available today you don't have rooms uh, yeah so i stayed in the hostel for a year yes, i had a i had a tray. in fact i still have it i had a beautiful topo table which doubled up as a uh, drawing board and uh, i have left it in a godown in bangalore if anybody in bangalore wants to use it i can gift it to you guys fantastic teak wood table with a with a glass and a tube light and everything in it so and if you want it you most welcome to take it yes i don't think there were any issues on that one okay If, okay. if they wanted it, capital. If they wanted it, yes. Uh, I, I, in fact, have a little book where I've made notes, and I remember one particular walk with Rekhi Kamath in uh, Gujarat. Uh, we had gone for our trip to Karamsad, and I have, in fact, written something there, which I still try to sometimes decipher. Where I have written saying, if I do anything substantial in life, this walk will have. uh something to do with it because i think she gave us a lot of gyan on uh, uh, life itself in that walk and i met her after many years recently and i did tell her uh, i mean she doesn't even remember but i did tell her that well, thank you and of course of course uh, another beautiful memories with mr chishti uh, professor chishti uh, i i i had uh, you you had to create these ideas for a concept right so i had this uh, leaf which uh, encompasses spaces and i said that's how my building will kind of have open spaces See, every submission he would ask me so where is your monstera leaf and where is the coconut because you know these were two analogies that i had drawn so yes i don't recall a time where i was nervous somehow i don't know it's like the stage or the mic came became second skin to me and i don't know what i did to so i'm very comfortable uh, in public speaking i don't know how i speak but i i'm very comfortable with it um i i think maybe my early experiences of like i told you being uh, in the us you had to make presentations uh, of course our, our college also you do tend to make presentations at least submission uh, so at that time of course i remember recall a lot of nervousness for sure but uh, i think uh, uh, making presentations in front of people you don't know is what i was doing when i was in the us and that kind of probably helped me overcome i don't know what it was but i never i don't recall beyond that this is jury and this juries that were in college i don't recall any moment of fear i wish i could give a tip to somebody and say do this and you will overcome it but i don't know what to say Don't know if I had any specific. Like today, there are people who do have. I I just uh, I I wouldn't know because I think the the directions I took. I think I just wanted to be uh, doing what I enjoyed doing. Uh, wanted to follow my uh, heart for sure. Uh, I do tell people how. Uh, you can bridge the gap between what you could be and what you are if you only allow yourself to do that and i i i don't think i remember sitting and thinking to myself i want to be something like that no it's just something that but i was also fortunate to be able to uh walk my own path because uh, fortunately for me my husband did tell me that No, to set up this firm, and I will retire, and I will come. You know, I'll enjoy life. But I said that's not what I, that's not who I am. So it's just I followed what I want to do.
maybe uh, I am going to say a name that uh, uh, who someone who's not an architect, maybe Didi Kanchanika. She's not an architect, but well, yet yet again she is. So someone like her, maybe I'm. I mean, just because you asked me, I'm telling you because I think she again walks the talk. Another person I really uh, admire is Sathya Prakash Varnashi. I think another person who really walks the talk. So. I I don't know if I want to be anybody other than still just now, so <laughs> I'm happy happy the way I am. But yes, yeah. it's for what architecture? Because architecture today is a lot of things. I I believe it should be a lot of things. So I think a keen eye, uh, for sure. Uh, yesterday Sanjay Mohe was speaking about the importance of a notebook. So I think a notebook is essential because you have a keen eye. When you have a keen eye and you you know continuously taking notes you're also kind of telling yourself uh so bijoy also says it very beautifully at juries i don't know if you were there at that jury where he says uh using your hand kind of uh creates memories and i think uh, those are very important for us as architects so be it uh, there are some people who may not be comfortable actually using a notebook it can be a notepad But yes, observing, noting—that's those are tools that I think will make you a better architect. Even if it is an architect who's wanting to pursue photography, even if it's an architect who wants to pursue an alternative stream altogether, I think that's where that's a good thing. But I do like a lot of songs by uh, Shankar Mahadevan, so I listen to a lot of his uh, his music. Any one song would be. Uh, I, I I listen to uh, uh, oldies and I mean in, in uh, lesser numbers, but I do enjoy a lot of uh, Indian music, uh, whether it is uh, Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, whatever it is. So picking one would be tough. There's so many, so many. I don't know autocad. I don't know Photoshop. <laughs> I have a team who does all that. I don't need to. So if that's a secret, yes, for sure. I did teach myself AutoCAD when I was doing uh, freelancing. So I did teach myself, but not a patch on any of you. So I can't sing. If that's a secret, I can't sing. Although I I learned singing for five years because my kids were learning. I joined uh, uh, Carnatic music classes with them, but I still can't sing to save my life. So that's a secret. And I can't dance. A lot of people look at my eyes and my fingers and say, "You must be a great dancer." So neither can I dance. So I'm myself. I'm sure it sounds passe. It sounds probably a lot of people say the same thing. And like I said, try and bridge that gap between uh, what you can be and what you are. Just find that. And uh, I also mentioned uh, uh, try and find that uh, equation between what you're good at, what you like doing. And what uh, you could make as a career of yourself, if you can find that equation between those three, I think you're kind of made in life. And don't don't uh, be afraid of experimenting and trying out a new path for yourself. Look at me. I don't think uh, I I myself would have imagined that the, uh, such a path existed until it kept revealing itself that there was you know some a road ahead. Even today. I don't know what lies ahead, or even when ASEAN happened. It was very interesting how um, I had a session with Jyotika Somaya, where uh, I was 48 and 52 today. I was 48, and I was chatting with her, and she said, very interestingly, she said, "How old are you? You're only 50. When you turn 50, is the time for introspection for you to really take on things that you want to do in the next 10 years of your life? Because by the time you're 60, you start slowing down. So uh, and leave behind things that." You think are not working, and that's why I went ahead and took the plunge on ASEG. I said, if I don't do it now, I will not do it. So let me go ahead and uh, give it a shot. If it doesn't work, it's okay. It doesn't work.